Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'll be going over my final round, the fourth round of the US Eco Congress. Um, so far in the tournament, I won two and one. I won my first two games, but I lost my last game. Uh, my final round game is against a five don, who I believe was also two and one. And because we both have a chance to be three and one, I believe this um, this game was to decide who would make the podium. I'm not sure if it was to decide who would get first, but definitely to make top three in the five don division. Um, just a reminder, the time settings were an hour main time with five 30 second overtime periods. So that, let's get underway. Um, one thing to mention, and I mentioned it before, is that I, because I won the Blitz tournament uh, at the same event, I won a lesson with Ryan Lee, and some I reviewed some of my Ego Congress games with him. So this was another one of the games, as long with, along with my round three game that I had reviewed with uh, Ryan Lee. And it was a little interesting because um, before my game, my fourth round game, uh, multiple people were like, oh, I know who you're playing. Good luck. He's very strong. And I'm like, I have no idea who I'm playing. <laughs> so it's kind of like, is this a hidden boss I don't know about? Or he's just popular? I don't know. And when I was doing my review with Ryan Lee, he, <laughs> Ryan Lee was actually like, oh, I actually know who you're playing. That's one of my students. So I'm actually, this is a game with one of Ryan Lee's students, which I thought was pretty humorous. But yeah. Yeah, very, still very common. Approach. Approach. And I like to approach and then ignore. I really don't like having to deal with, while well, the any sort of shimari they make, whether it's this one, whether it's this one, what have you. I like just getting a stone in there just to kind of break it up. Even if I don't plan on saving that stone, I just like to have the stone in there um, when I can, just to break up a potential Shimari. I play there, mm -hmm. and then they play there, and here, like I've I've played a high Shimari in the lower right. I have a wall here. I've played the stone in the middle. I should really just exchange this Joseki here, like this. There's no reason not to. It helps build my right side which is why I played there it flattens white's top side and you, let's say I come back here or I do what I do eventually in the game and attach here the right side is again not completely blacks but it's going to be an area black can build very efficiently so I should really exchange that um, yeah but I just ignore it yep connect back and extend up play there and this move, yeah, this is probably Black's first mistake. Because it's already focusing on, on white, not black. So one, if I wanted to play something in that area, this is the move I should play. Because follow-up wise, they're looking for the same thing. If white ignores, they're looking for this um, move at C7. Same thing here. If white ignores this, we're looking for C7. That's the key. So both moves threaten the same thing. This one, though... White's best response is just to dive at b8, but notice this stone at d8 has all four liberties and is pretty light. And white, while white has a base, white isn't completely solid. Whereas when I go here, and notice I take sente because I'm light. When I go here, and then they answer, and then I play lightly, one, notice how solid white is, and notice how I end in gote. Um, I really can't, I would like to, but I really can't ignore this. Really can't. It's just too big. So I have to play something there. So yeah, this is just too soon, because it's just not getting any points. All it's doing is reducing white. You could say that m maybe it is helping build a little bit, but with the tops, or with the bottom side wide open, and they're still being cuts at E9 and E7, it's not really doing that much. So that's why playing here would have been better. Because again, if white answers, I can't ignore. All, my stone still has all four liberties. I can just go elsewhere. So yeah, while shoulder hitting here is normal. Like, if I want to shoulder hit here, this is considered normal. Shoulder hitting after this Joseki has been played, not so good. And I knew that, so I'm not really sure why. Because I'm pretty sure it was a Shin, Shinjin Seo game versus Chen Yao Ye game. Um, 
where I think Shin played this move. So I, sh I should know this, but for some reason I just did that. Yeah, so why take Sente to split the bottom? Yeah, I think this is very smart. Very smart. And I, I should also... What's the correct direction here? Do I push at N3? Or do I play at J3? Because J3 gets me a base. Um, and J3 is what I played in the game. But still leaves this Aji at G2. Potentially. And it's I kind of have thickness here. And it would be like I'm kind of making points with thickness. So if I play here... White probably does get this peep, and then gets this, but, um, yeah, it's still, I take Sente, this move at N3 helps build the lower right, so I'm not sure, maybe N3 is slightly better. Now, what's definitely better, and this was, Ryan said the left side shoulder hit was not so good, but he definitely said here, I made a big mistake. So my reasoning was, so I went here, um, this was partially the reason why I wanted to play on the left side. But again, I sh shouldn't even worry about the left side. I should just worry about what I can build on the right. But he's like, why didn't you want to play something against the bottom? White has just two stones. You have the, all your stones, or not all your stones, but you have a lot of strength on the left. And you can build your right side. And I was like, well, I didn't really know where I was going to like run him towards. Like, I didn't know if it was too preemptive. Because you should always try to attack for profit. But of course, where's my profit? I'm looking right at it on the right side. <laughs> yeah, I should just do something like that, do something like this, even potentially do like the shoulder hit sort of thing. Yeah, just do it now because I might not get a chance later. And yeah, this move here, it's just, just no points there. There's just no points. So White gets that big jump, and this is where I really wanted to get that attachment at N16 because that's kind of where... Especially once White had shoulder hit at D14 here. This is the area where two Moyos meet. And whoever gets that move first is going to reduce the one side and grow their own and vice versa. So yeah, this move is big. Very big. And then I descend. So again, I'm I'm spending all these moves on the left. Like I did the, I did the shoulder hit initially. So that's one move. I played this one space jump, that's two moves. And I played this block, three moves. And I spent three moves to s surround, quote unquote, maybe 10 points. When I could have spent three moves all on the right side and gained five times that, four times that. So, yeah, I just, I played all these moves on the right side, right? I played, I played the Joseki that faced my wall. I played this move, but... I just like switched direction to the left, which Ryan Lee said was very bad direction to play. Because I went here, White then invades, which makes total sense. White took the base out, White got some strength, okay, I'll attack the three stones. And I have to do something to run out, which is not good. White attaches, Hane, extend back, and here I get very greedy as I extend up, because locally, I can play this because if he cuts and then I block this way, while it looks like I can't Hane because of this cut, I technically can because I can squeeze like this. And locally I am connected and white really can't run anywhere. But that means I have to look out for that later. Um, and that's why white doesn't cut immediately, so white just jumps. And I didn't want to see white. Uh, oh, white did cut. Yeah, white did cut first and then jumped here. And I didn't want to see white covering there on this line at N14 because, yeah, really build the top side, which I really did not want to see. So I pushed there, but then white turns. And of course, now they can jump there. And I am, <laughs> my two stones there are cut off. So what have I gained from the last like 20 or so moves, right? The board looks like this. And I take, let's see, what do I get? I get first line connection worth zero points. And Y connects 
two stones or captures the two stones and connects his stones and yeah it's a disaster for black because all i got was five stones in the upper right not worth a lot of points i got first line connection white has points everywhere so yeah already this game is falling out of hand quickly and yeah i don't know what i was thinking well one i wasn't i was definitely not reading as, as enough as i should like kind of like how i mentioned in the last review ryan definitely said i needed to slow down a lot because i remember in this game specifically by the end of it so a 60 minute main time by the end of it my opponent had maybe 10 minutes left on the main clock i had maybe 45 or so so i was definitely playing way too fast like i i read that oh he can't turn here but i didn't read that oh 10 changes that so just very very just lackluster play yeah and just black is unable to push through here even though it looks like black can on a cut because of black shortage of liberties black can't get anywhere so it's not even like i can fight this it's just i just i just die so and then now you can see now i'm trying to oops i did this one now i'm trying to oh i have two things i can look to attack i'm trying to split these two things i could have attacked these two stones way earlier and would have changed the whole complexion of the fight on the right but i didn't so i need to if i can attack something i need to at least think about doing it immediately Yep, cuts, extend up, he pulls back, mm -hmm. so I can extend, then he attach, yep, attach to um, weak stones, I push there, maybe that's a bit much, just, yeah, just extend back, too, trying to do too much, <laughs> again, I see things in pro games that I try, but then just by, like, based on shape, but I really need to read it. <laughs> To make sure it's good. Because I remember I, this was a Shinjin Seo game and a Kuzha game. And I believe Kuzha played something like this and Shin played the block here. So I, that's that was the extent of my quote-unquote reading. So you, I can't I can't copy and paste, basically. Yeah, this would, this would fix so many things later. And it's still a fight. So, yeah. Senuk. Atari. Stems, fix my shape, he connects, cut, extend up. So now I am actually threatening to save those two stones now while threatening the net of those three white stones. So he fixes, and I do get to capture back, but one white completely squeezes me. It's three liberties to four liberties, but I can't gain anymore and I can't run out, so I have to take these stones off and white gained a lot by capturing these three stones so yeah i'm just like okay i gotta do something now <laughs> on the top white fixes once more right there and then white honeys yeah i'm not alive on the upper right so white gets some extra forcing move so i have to live and then they pincer and during this review i was like and you'll see this white blocks white honeys now so the block was to make good shape I was like, didn't White let me live pretty easily here? And Ryan Lee was like, yeah, he did. But did he need to kill? And I'm like, it's a good point. So even though I lived pretty easily, like I thought White could have been way more aggressive here to kill this. Like, why didn't White just, I don't know, go here first and then do something like, I don't know, just something, I don't know. You get what I'm saying then. I just thought, like, the way White played, Gave me a lot of forcing moves and let me live. But as Ryan pointed out, did White need to kill? No. So, yeah, so I guess White played very smartly there. Yeah, and so those 10 points that I won on the left, well, they're about to be gone because White wedges. Yeah, I didn't see this at all. I thought I just had the five stones there. They were safe, but they were not. Because... Because if I if I descend when they connect, you can see these two stones are running out of liberties. Um, yeah, those two stones are running. Conversely, white can just descend, and if black cuts, while black can net because this move is 
Sente, White can then push through and cut off those two stones. So, yeah, just I had to cut. Tari, push through. I play at the shape point, threatening to connect, but also making a base. White pushes, connects. Ihane, and connect. They take. Then I take, or I have fix. So again, I've lived in the corner, but even if you just count how many groups black has, black has one, two, three, four, five, six groups. When you have this many groups, they're gonna live small. And white has, it looks like one group, two groups, and three groups. So white has more groups, and you can see white's areas are just much bigger. White descends, and then cuts. I have to, I Atari, and then I live, I have to live. Again, white could have played this way, something like this. But this kind of leaves things up in the air, like, oh, can white kill? I'm not sure. So white just does the quote-unquote safe way of just cutting, taking profit in the center, and just letting black live on the second line. Then white caps, my Atari, and then white covers. And this is probably the... The fall of the game, Naihane, and again with very little reading. I'm not sure why I was reading so little. I don't know at this point if I was dejected or what, but um, yeah, just without much reading, just connected and yeah, just those five stones are just cut off now, and <laughs> yeah, it's very, very peculiar. It's, this game's a. Uh, this game's a question mark for sure. I'm not sure what what I was thinking. Like I know I wasn't thinking, but like why I was why I wasn't thinking, I'm not sure, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah. Cause now white captures the five stones and can attack the lower left. And I try my best, but Yeah, I cut. Cut really doesn't do much though. I even extend. I think Yeah, that move doesn't even work, does it? Yeah. Just try my... It's nothing I can really do. I even go... Why do you even can extend once? And if I go here, which puts more pressure on these stones, why can take away my eye in Sente? And I'm like... So I was like, if I put more pressure, but make my group weaker, but I play there, white lives. Again, very safe. Does white need to do that? Can white just win the semi-eye? Maybe, maybe not, but white knows their win condition and just lives. So I extend up, or I jump out. White makes very good shape, and I love how white's cap here was very calculated. Very, very calculated. Like, white capped first, and then Hane. And then this cap here, as we look in the fight that develops in the center, is just perfectly placed. Right there, boom. White's connected. So white had very good foresight or reading um, to play that, which is very, very awesome for them. Yeah, play there. They fix. Play there. This is very expensive because it um, means now white can save those two stones on the bottom right, but I have to live. They play there, and I'm like, well, why not? Let's just see what happens. So I extend up, but they can just capture. Yeah, I I need to go here, of course, but this turn here is just way too big. Way, way, way too big. So yeah, just I was just on the back pedal the entire game, and while most of it was self-induced because I wasn't reading, it's still very frustrating. Um, just feel feel like you can't do anything. So yeah, White can capture the lower right now. I can cut there. This was kind of like my last hurrah because I was like, oh, if white extends, like so, um, I can extend up here like this. And if I Hanes, I can capture with a net. So white has to fix. But then when I extend, or maybe I, no, I maybe I just extend. But you can see white's not alive here. That was kind of like my last... <laughs> ditch effort but of course white smart and knows their win condition that's very important just gives it up they connect 
And yeah, connecting, now I'm like, oh, I'm not alive there. That's a good point, White. That's a very good point. So, yeah, now it's a code to live there. <laughs> yeah, you can just see how... Yeah, White even just connects, says, I don't, I don't even need to fight this code. Yeah, White covers. And then after this, um, I resign. It's just nothing I can do. Yeah, it just felt like I was in the back pedal the whole time. And again, just count how many groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six different groups were black. Yeah. Yeah, and like three points, five points, two points, two points. Like, they're not only are the groups, there's a lot of groups, but they're not worth anything. So yeah, very, very discouraging game from my side, but I know that most of it is... Of course, while White played well, most of it was me playing very poorly as well. So, yeah, I ended two, ended um two and two. I think I got like eighth or ninth in the five don bracket, which isn't too bad. Um, but I definitely wanted to do better, especially starting out two and zero oh and ending two and two is not a good feeling. But uh, yeah, just yeah, what like what happened, right? Like the big thing was I switched directions like I'm, I'm building this right side i should just continue building to the right side um and then as i mentioned just just switching to the left side for no real reason yeah and, and not attacking this well i'm trying to build the right side and hey look there's something i can pressure something i can attack but i just don't i just don't do that yeah switching to the left side and then yeah, white can invade, and and then the lack of reading here, like literal lack of reading. I the, as far as I read was this. Didn't even consider how this changed the like I didn't even reread that at all. So yeah, very very sad, very sad game. But a lot to learn from. So that is always what's important is to is what can I learn. So yeah, so I ended the tournament two and two. At least, you know, I won the Blitz tournament, though. That was, I was very proud of, of going 10-2, and two, winning nine straight games. I was very pleased with myself. Yeah, but, yeah, that was it for the Ego Congress. It's a pretty good event. It was a little messy at points, but, you know, there was, it was their first one. So it was a learning experience for everyone. So I had fun. If you missed out and they do it again next year, hopefully we can do an in-person one. But if we have to do online again, since it was free for... Uh, anyone to join so if you didn't join you should join next year uh, but yeah thanks for watching uh, this video and I'll see you in the next one